In the last few months, a rumor has been floating around the tech world. Some people say Apple is testing an iPhone 18 with a semi-transparent body, meaning parts of the phone would let you see what is inside. Not fully see-through like a toy, and not a sci-fi ghost phone, but a controlled, premium kind of transparency. In this video, we will break down what the rumor is claiming, why it is hard to pull off, and what to watch for next. First, let us define the idea. When people say semi-transparent iPhone, they usually do not mean the whole back is clear. The more believable version is this. A section of the back or a specific window like the MagSafe area might be slightly see-through. That could reveal shapes and outlines like the charging coil without exposing every component. In other words, transparency becomes a small design element, not the whole identity of the phone. Second, the rumor is tied to timing. People connect it to the iPhone 18 generation, which many expect around 2026 for the main launch cycle. But product roadmaps can shift. When you hear iPhone 18, it can mean base models, pro models, or even a special edition. That is why it is smarter to treat the timeline as flexible. Many posts online speak with total confidence, but Apple has not confirmed any of this. Public reporting does suggest Apple is exploring major design changes in the next few years, like more hidden sensors and new glasswork. There are also leaks about micro-transparent areas and displays for hiding Face ID parts, which is a different kind of transparency than a clear back. A semi-transparent back is simply harder to confirm because Apple tests many ideas that never reach stores. So the safest statement is this. Apple may be testing transparent or micro-transparent materials in different places, especially in displays. A semi-transparent back is a real rumor, but it is still a rumor, and it could change or disappear before launch. A smartphone is not just a pretty shell. It is a tiny machine that must survive water, heat drops, and daily abuse. If you make parts of the body transparent, you run into real problems. One problem is shielding. Phones have radios and sensitive parts, and they need to block unwanted interference. Another problem is thermal management. The phone must move heat away from the chip and battery. Another problem is durability. Clear or semi-clear materials can scratch, show stress lines, and even discolor over time. Then there is water resistance. Every seam and layer matters, and a new construction can create new weak points. So if Apple ever does a semi-transparent design, it would likely be multi-layer. Think of it like a sandwich. A strong outer layer, protective inner layers, and controlled transparency only where Apple wants it. That way, the phone can still feel solid, premium, and safe. Apple is careful with design. Sometimes that means slow changes, and sometimes it means a big jump that resets the industry. The iPhone X removed the home button and pushed everyone toward full-screen phones. A semi-transparent design could be a new kind of jump, but not because it adds more megapixels or more speed. It would add emotion. Many people feel iPhones are excellent, but they do not always feel visually new anymore. A controlled see-through element could bring back that wow moment because it makes the inside of the device part of the story. It says, we are proud of what is under the hood. There is also a software reason. Apple has been leaning into interface designs that use depth and frosted transparency, where buttons and panels feel like layers of glass. If Apple connects that software look to hardware, it creates one message. The phone is not just a slab, it is a window. This is where the rumor starts to sound like a strategy. Apple may want the device to feel less like a heavy object and more like an entry point into the Apple world. In that story, a semi-transparent body is not just decoration. It is a symbol. It blurs the line between the physical phone and the digital content. That is also why many rumor writers think Apple would start small. A limited run or a special flagship version for early adopters would reduce risk. If people love it, Apple can expand the idea. If people hate it, Apple can step back without changing the whole lineup. Let us picture a realistic version. You pick up the phone and it still looks like an iPhone. The camera bump is still there, the sides still feel premium, but on the back, the MagSafe circle area looks slightly different. In certain light, you can see a faint outline of the coil and internal shape. Maybe there is a subtle pattern, 
like a clean blueprint. You do not see messy cables. You do not see random parts. You see a designed layout. Apple could hide the ugly parts with masking. Brands can use coatings, printed layers, and structural frames that guide your eye. So the transparent area would not expose everything, it would reveal only what looks intentional. This idea sounds exciting, but it has real risks. One risk is taste. Apple fans love clean and simple design. A see-through look could feel too playful or too close to styles other brands already use. Another risk is repairs. If the back is more complex, repairs could become harder or more expensive. Another risk is privacy and comfort. Some people do not want their phone to look like it is showing its internals. They prefer a calm, closed design. And then there is the biggest risk, the market might not care. If Apple sells it as the future and people do not feel impressed, the wow moment turns into a shrug. Quick pause. If you are enjoying this breakdown and you like videos that explain tech rumors in plain language, please tap like and subscribe. It helps the channel a lot, and it tells YouTube to show you more videos like this. So how do we know if this rumor is getting real? The first thing to watch is repetition. One leak is noise, but when different leakers, parts suppliers, and case chatter all point to the same small detail, it gets more interesting. If you keep hearing the same phrase, like slightly transparent MagSafe zone, or a special glass layer that lets sensors see through, that kind of consistency is a clue. The second thing is the accessory world. Case makers and component suppliers often notice changes before the public does because they need to prepare molds and parts. If you start seeing rumors about new back glass layouts, new MagSafe ring shapes, or odd cutouts, that can support the idea that something is changing. The third thing is software direction. Apple's interface has been leaning into depth, frosted panels, and glass-like layers. If iOS keeps pushing that look, Apple may want hardware that matches the feeling. So the phone and the interface speak the same visual language. The fourth thing is launch strategy. Big design shifts usually start on the flagship because Apple can charge more and control the story. That is why, if this is real, it is more likely to show up on a pro model or a limited high-end version first, not the cheapest iPhone. Transparency is not a new idea in tech. Some brands already use see-through backs to show coils and parts, and that proves people do enjoy the look. The question is not, can it be done? The question is, can Apple do it in an Apple way? Clean, durable, and not cheesy. If Apple ever ships this, expect subtlety, frosted glass, soft outlines, and a pattern that looks intentional. A fully transparent iPhone is probably far away because the battery, cameras, and many parts cannot be made invisible. But a semi-transparent element, a small controlled window, feels more believable. It could be a design experiment Apple tests and only ships if it meets strict standards for durability and water resistance. The most important point is not the clear area itself it is the meaning. If Apple uses transparency to connect hardware and software into one experience, then it is not a gimmick. It is a message. So is Apple really building a semi-transparent iPhone 18? Right now we can say there are rumors, hints, and some related material experiments, but there is no official confirmation. Apple explores many prototypes and only a few become real products. Still, this rumor matters because it shows what people are hungry for. A phone that feels new again, not just faster.